Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform CRUD operations with ADO.NET. So the first requirement is the database and table. So here you can see that my table has got five columns. The table name is CRUD table and then the, and then the database name is demo. All right. And then I'm going to create a web application, a simple web application and then a web form. So within this web form, I need to design this like labels and then the text box and then the buttons, three buttons for insert, update, delete. I'm just going to perform simple insert, update, delete operations. I'm not going to perform any validations or any sort of events, getting it. So, and then this is the grid view. You have to drag and drop all these stuffs. So once after designing this, then we have to perform the, the coding part for the three buttons okay you can see that this is the first button that is the insert so i kept this connection as a common so after this page load method and then i kept this connection sql connection and then we know that we need to pass the these three uh you know the values like data source uh, database name and integrated security true and then I'm just using this reference CON and then I'm opening the connection and then I'm performing insert operation in that. So here care should be taken that we need to mention the text box names. We have five text box names. So we need to repeat the same syntax. So it goes like this single quote and then double quote and then plus and then you have to say the text box name text box one dot text then again plus then double quotes, then single quote, and then you have to say comma if you have further, uh, you know, text boxes to be added. So this is this, uh, you know, syntax which we need to follow. And then we have to, you know, specify the connection. As I told you in the previous videos, uh, other than select statement, we use execute non-query method for inserting updating and deleting and for the rest of the sql statements okay so we use uh, execute uh, reader method for select statement okay because it is easy to fetch the records and because we need to move forward it is forward only that execute reader method all right so here after this after executing the query and i'm closing the method and then i'm printing the message successful message then I have a method for like load record and clear data. So load record means uh, this is a method where uh, I'm just using a grid view and then I'm fetching all the records using select statement using a spell command and then data adapter and data table I'm using. You know that this is a disconnected architecture data table and then I'm filling the data table. Uh, so I can access the records without database connection because once if it is filled it will be there in inbuilt local memory and then I'm using grid view and then binding the uh, records in that and then it will be displayed okay so I don't want to go back to database and then I don't want to check the records each and every single time so I can check everything uh, then and there after inserting or deleting or uh, or updating the records fine so clear data I don't want my fields uh, after inserting uh, to stay in that particular text boxes so that i need to clear all those things so i'm using clear uh you know i'm just writing text box one dot text equal to empty means it'll get clear the moment i click the button all right so similarly i did the same thing for uh, uh, button two and button three button two is for update so here i have written the update query so rest everything is same getting it only the query is getting changed i'm updating all the fields using the student i mean the id so i'm saying where student id equal to the text box one fine this is the only one change which you need to note down and the third button is for delete i'm deleting using the student id so delete table name where student id equal to text box one so whatever the value i enter in the text box one and then that record should get deleted it's fine and again executing the query closing the connection and rest and calling the methods and printing the uh, message successful message that's it so this is what uh, i have done uh, let me just uh, go back to the visual studio code and quickly design this so it is a web application right and then let me say framework and then asp.net web application with .net framework 
select next and uh, demo let's say create make sure that you should keep your solution in the project directory so that you can zip the file and then you can upload it okay so i'm just going to say empty as of now and then create because it is going to be a simple web, web application it is not mvc all right now i need to just create a web form right click add and then add a web form here all right and then quickly design the, the form so let me choose table here and then insert table i just need uh, six rows and uh, two columns okay fine and over here uh, let me just check the field names here let me say id okay and then student name address age and contact let's say name address and then age and then i have contact okay so i can insert one more record a row below fine then uh what i need to do is let me merge these things I'll modify and merge cells and then now i need to bring the controls like the text boxes here so let me just drag and drop the uh, text boxes from here and then the first text box and then the second let me use three four and the fifth one and then i need three buttons so i'll bring three buttons one uh, i'll just leave some space here and then we can beautify this later as of now i'm just completing the execution part so this is going to be insert Oops. Uh, let's get let's get the properties and then we can say it is insert right and then this is for insert update update and this is for delete fine that's it and then over here we i'll merge the last column i mean the row over here and then i'll extend it and then i'll bring a grid view just drag and drop fine done so now we can just rearrange this okay i'll just keep as of now uh, we can beautify this later as i said so uh, i'm done with the design part and uh, i'll just do one thing just change the color of this grid view fine now we need to go to the code behind window right click and view code or else you can press f7 so here uh let me inside the uh page load okay we have to write the insert first of all we have to go with the button one so what is button one here insert so double click on the button and then it will take you to this it will generate this part fine for you and uh inside this we i need to write the insert code so let me say this so the connection let's keep here sql connection mm. and then connection zero and equal to uh new, new sql connection and then as usual we have to say data source data source equal to um, the pc name and then we have to say sql express and then uh, it should be database that is demo obviously 
uh, data is equal to demo and then integrated security equal to true all right i'm done now now the problem is with uh, let's say n here and then n over here uh, load record and clear so let's finish this clear first void a clear data and then we need to we need, we need to just say uh, what text box one dot text 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 equal to we'll say like this or string dot empty is also fine we have to just repeat this for five times and let me repeat three four five and now i'll just change this to two and three four and five fine uh, <clears throat> for load record we do the same like with the grid view so void it is load record and uh, we have to just uh, say sql connection again uh, we have to create a equal to new sql connection and then we can uh, uh, bring the same or else uh, let me just uh, get the code over here um, okay we have sql connection over there and uh, we just need a select statement here so i can use reuse this instead of this so i'm saying directly command and then i'm bringing the uh, select statement here and i'm passing into this connection in the top we have this so i kept this common so i don't want to repeat this again getting it for all the buttons else i need to repeat the same uh, sql connection again and again all right so that's why i didn't repeat here so directly use uh, sql command and get the records and then using data adapter data table we know that this is for disconnected data structure i mean architecture here and then i'm filling the data table which will be stored in local uh, memory and then i'm passing those values to the grid view now the first thing we can test is let's run the code and we'll see now the there are some errors let's see connection does not exist make file read only and here it is not existing all right because we have referred it as zero and n fine so now there are no errors and run now hopefully this this should get executed and whatever we insert here it should go into the let me say 567 and name is r key and the address is let's say india and age let's say 22 and then the contact is one two three i'm saying insert and we are getting this successful message and you can see that the last record is getting in is our in our record so whenever my page is getting loaded now now i need this particular grid view because after getting inserted then only i'm able to see this grid view right for that uh we need to add a piece of code that is post back so that will do before that we'll complete uh the button two and three so fine so let's go to this update and we have to just add the update code over there as i have discussed in the ppt um so open the connection and you have to write the update query um so it is going to be simple so here you can see that i'm using the connection reusing the connection which i have defined in the top and then just this part is to be taken care of. update table name set name equal to this single code double code plus you have to use and similarly the text boxes names you have to we will make mistakes over here for sure it will not work even though if you miss any one of this so and also it will not 
show any sort of error because the entire statement goes into double quotes so it will not highlight anything with red color up you know inside this area fine so care should be taken in this uh, all right now let's try to update something uh we see we can't see uh currently that what is there in grid view right so let's bring it now so what you have to do is this we have shown you in the ppt that i just want to say load record getting it so i'm using not uh that is post back because when the page is getting uh, refreshed again and again so it should i sh i should get to know that um so it should just display the same data for me so let me just uh, run right now and then we'll see the difference so in the page load i have kept the load record because load record is actually for grid view right now you can see that it is displaying now i want to change this uh, 567 uh, let me say 567 and uh, instead of rk i'm saying rrr and then let's keep all just for demo purpose i'm just doing this let me say one and then contact number is also one so if i say update and that should get updated can you see that it is just updated now let's add the code for delete so what we have to do for delete is just write the change sql statement over there okay it is getting executed still so double click and the button three now i'm just pasting the the same code and then let me change it so what i have to do is that uh, i want to delete right so delete delete from a table name uh, where where uh, based on the enrollment number right so i have to just remove the up to this part fine delete from table name where student id equal to that's it so and then execute non-query close the method and then i mean close the connection and then display the message successfully deleted right that's all fine now go back and then save this and let's run this now let's delete the same record five six seven five six seven and then say delete and successfully deleted and it is removed fine so this is what crowd operations uh this is very simple you can try this and uh, let me know if you have got any issues in the comment section uh, i'll help you out if you like the video hit the like button do subscribe my channel thank you and thanks for watching the video